guys, Eddie six seven seven one six here, and welcome back to my new Let's Play series. So I've decided to try to do a bit more of my survival tutorial stuff. So what I've done uh, is, what I've done is I've resettled into the new 1.18 chunks, but it's the same world that I used to do my old stuff. So it's kind of keeps some stuff from that. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you usually need to do once you're starting your world is you need to start yourself by getting some wooden tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down a couple of these trees. Once I have a good amount of wood, I'll show you what the basics are. And just to follow good environmental practices, I like to replant all the trees I destroy. So now I've got a decent amount of wood, what you need to be able to do is, if you don't have this book on, you should turn it on because it's really good because it helps you know all the recipes you need to know. So, you can turn all your wood into planks by doing that. And then what you need to build is a crafting table, which is one of the most important blocks in the game. Hence the game, mine craft. So you mine and you craft. So, what you need to start is by getting yourself a pickaxe. Hence the other word, mine. And you may as well get a couple of other basic tools, such as maybe an axe. And this should be good enough for now. Now just get me a little bit more wood and that should be good. Okay, now I've got some good basic resources. Now what I need to do is look for some mobs and get some food. Now the best mobs for food will be cows and pigs because they restore the most of your mutton drumsticks, which you see on the bottom right. And meat is a really good source, unless it's chicken. It has good saturation, which means you heal more and last longer before you need to eat anything more. So sheep is okay. It has good saturation. But a good thing about sheep is... You need to get wool from them to make a bed, which is the easiest way to pass the night. So I'm gonna see if I find... here's one. Now, pay attention to the cool bar. You should only strike once the little thing has a plus on it. That's the best way to get maximum damage from your hits. That's how it's worked ever since 1.9, which most people don't like that update. Oh, cows! I don't really like to kill too many cows in the beginning of the game, because I like to use some on the farm, so I'm going to make sure there's two left. Yeah, hopefully I can get a good supply of food. Another thing to do in Minecraft is whenever you find sugar cane, collect it. Well, at least collect the top ones, and then, like, build a good farm, because it will help a lot later on, which you'll see why. I wonder if there's anything of use over that. Oh, sheep, that will be useful. Oh, turtles. Interesting. Okay, this is a good amount of sheep. I need to get these guys killed. So, also, when swinging with an axe, you get best damage when you jump. So, it's a good idea to do that. And there's some pig. That will make some good food. And you can see this is a... It's best to do it when you're falling down. That's how you get your best hit from everything. Well, that is a hole I don't want to fall down. But I need to find a good area to get some stone, because that's the next thing we need to get done. Another hazard to be aware of are lava lakes. You don't want to fall into one of these. If you're dying lava, all your items will burn up. I guess this would be a good place to start, so I don't have a shovel yet. But what we need to do is get about 8 stone. That's enough to build a furnace. And the first thing we need to do is get some charcoal brewed. So yeah, that's 6. We need 2 more. Actually, I'll get enough for 2 furnaces. Okay, that's a good cave area. I'll explore there later, but the first things first, you need to head back to base, which I managed to find. Now, it's a good idea to use good coordinate skills, like sun rising in the east, setting in the west. So that way is west, and you can see the sun is going down. Don't have much time before night. What I need to get done is get two furnaces built. And what I want to do is, with one furnace, I want to use some of my planks to get me some food. And then the other furnace, I'm going to brew a lot of my wood into charcoal. And that's a very good source for, like, smelling things. Charcoal and coal are the best fuse for, like, beginner. Because they only, they can, they can smell up to eight items. Whereas wood can only do, like, one or one and a half. Or one of the bits, something like that. But night time is nearly here. So what I need to do is, I may as well get a couple of stone tools with what I have left. I'm going to get... I need that, and I may as well fill that up with this, so the yeah, charcoal is a lot better. And what I need to do is, I'll build me some more sticks, and get me another proper axe, and a shovel, why not? So now is a good time to think about, like, where you're going to shelter. So, first things first, um, I may as well eat some of what I've gotten, so I'll just 
stuff that in and eat this. So yeah, each steak does four drumsticks worth, whereas mutton is three and a half, I believe. So what I need to do here is build a very small makeshift first house. And a good idea for this is just to build it in a dirt hut, something like this. And then just enough room for your bed and a torch or something. Now a torch can be made by doing this. And just do a bit more like this. And I'll just place the torches like this. Now lighting is an interesting thing, because in the old days, you had to worry of how you lit your houses, because if your houses were below seven in lighting, you can tell that by pressing F3 and looking for client light and server light. Whereas that's all in the past now, because only a light level of zero will spawn mobs, not seven or less, like it used to be. So now that I've got a, a little makeshift area, need to get some stuff done. Oh, it's ringing in night time. What I need is enough wood so I can build a door and a bed. So if you don't have a bed, you most likely have to wait the night out. But if you do have a bed, you can sleep the night through. So that should hopefully be enough. I'll just quickly make that into wood, crafting table. I'll just store it here, make me a bed, make a door, and there we go. That should be a very small first night shack, and then I can just sleep. So that right there is the first night done. So like, what the key thing to do after you survive the first night is to like start getting a more permanent source of food. I'd better replant that oak. Ooh, an apple. Yeah, apples aren't the best. They're more useful when you make golden apples, and... Hmm, maybe I could start mining a bit. There's a water trail going down there, so that might be a good place to start getting some more minerals. But, let's see, food-wise, I need to build me a farm. So I might build my starter base here. This is flat enough, and... Like, that's usually something you do later on. I got me a good supply of charcoal and food. But I think the first thing I should do is, like, get a bit more iron. So I've got a decent amount of food to start. So what I want to do is get some of my charcoal and make more torches. Now we're going to go mining. Now cave mining can be difficult. you got to be really good at hunting mobs and stuff, and then sometimes you just don't find caves that are good enough to look for things. So this was a dud by the look of it. Sometimes you can find better caves further down, but I guess I'll just scout a bit for better looking caves, otherwise I have to risk it for the ravine. But then that might not actually be a bad idea, since there's a water stream, and... Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, if I head to this side, I can swim down and up. So if I fall through here... Let's see, is there anything good around here? Well, most of the good caves seem over there. Well, then there might be something good down this way. Oh, that was some full damage. Nah, I think that's... I better look for a smaller cave. Oh, I seem to have stumbled upon what looks like to be... No, I guess it's just a pond. I thought it was an aquifer. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna have to do the old-fashioned way, which is look for an old cave and then just mine to hopefully I've hit something good. We'll see what happens. Another tip for small minecrafters is if you go into options and go to sound and you have show subtitles on, sometimes it will help you find sounds that are a little bit trickier. Like, most of these are basic, but you can see that there's a skeleton somewhere along here, which means I'm not too far from another proper cave system. But then skeletons are really hard to defeat with the gear I've currently got, so it's generally better to avoid them, but... Well, there's a cave. But it might not be good enough to risk, so I'm gonna go about this safely. Because what we what's a good idea is to get enough iron to get armor, and then you don't have to fear death as much. So... Oh, creeper, 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 creeper! Creepers are not good. Those things blow up so easily. I don't have my good axe in my... Run, 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 run! Okay, the kamikaze, they like to blow up. Okay... Okay, run! Oh, too late. Well, that's just done some damage. But yeah, hopefully we can find some gear worth getting in here. Oh, there's the skeleton! Now, the good thing about skeletons is usually they will burn up in the sunlight. In fact, zombies and skeletons and 
will burn up in sunlight. Like, that's what most of the undead mobs do. So where'd he go? Oh, I head down this way. No, he's following me. And that way leads to nothing but death. Okay, run! I missed my exit. Got him. That was a bit too risky. But yeah, we'll see if there's anything of note. Okay, this way is just a dead end. Now, a good thing to do is press F to get your torches into your other hand. And it makes it a little bit easier to place things down. There's copper, but that's not of use at the moment. Oh, iron. Oh no, creepers and endermen. Now, endermen are neutral. You don't have to worry about them unless you look at them directly in the eye. But creepers, they always come after you. They, they like to blow up, as I've said like five times already. I wish I had a bow. But I don't really have enough to get a bow. Okay, there we go. That was risky. Okay, some coal. Coal is a nice thing. Well, I like to light up areas of the cave before getting all the minerals in said area. Okay, that should be at least somewhat safe enough for me to get this coal. Now with iron, you've always got to make sure you mine it with a stone pick. Because if you mine it with wooden pick, you won't get the drop. Now back in the old days, you had to get the block and smelt it, but nowadays you get, like... You get it differently. Okay, I can craft me some more torches. F. Care okay, well, the Enderman. Hmm, lichen. That stuff gives the team a light, but there doesn't seem to be much good down that area. And food is dropped a little bit. I like to... And there's a water going down this way. There's more copper, more coal, but I'm looking mostly for iron. Hmm. Looks like this cave's a dead end. I might have to do more digging to find more. I've only got three iron, and I'd like to get enough for a chest plate. Well, that was fruitful. I mean... I went that far, lost my wood pick, and nothing happened. What a dead end. I need to find... Maybe I'll have to go into the ravine. <sighs> okay, now that I'm back at the furnace, what I can do is I can smelter the iron and then turn it into iron ingots. Now, iron ingots are one of the most um, used items in the game. You need them to make most of your really good tools and a bunch of other tools, so it's really good to stock up on iron, because iron's one of the more important lower resources you can get until you find diamonds, but yeah. So that's going to smelt up, and then I should be able to... I don't know what to do, like... Maybe I could be able to pick and then head down there. I guess that's my best bet. Well, it's nearly sundown again, so I better go sleep. So, yeah, this is iron, and I guess, yes, I'll make a pick. So I'm going to have an iron pickaxe. And this is a more durable tool and it lasts longer than stone. Like, like, stone lasts longer than wood, and iron lasts longer than stone, diamond lasts longer than iron, and then gold. Why was it even put in the game for tools? Weird. Yeah. Oh, second try. That's not bad. But I'm gonna need coal. But coal is not too easy to find in lower areas, which is the main thing that's making me not want to go down that ravine. Unless there's an area over this way which is not as... um... dangerous. That all seems pretty deep. Actually, this aquifer might be a good idea. I'll see what I can mine from here. Okay, that heads nowhere. Oh! I got an idea. I'll make a water thing that heads down this way. And then we can just head down and see what we can get. Ooh, coal. That might be good. So what I guess I'll do is use a bunch of this cobble to scaffold. Because you got to use blocks for their strengths in everything you do. It's the way you play Minecraft. And remember, like I said, mine and craft. So this is the mining, and then there's the crafting, hence the game. Yeah, we'll need a good amount of this to make more torches, because we need a good amount of coal. Although charcoal can use to craft most everything coal can, so if you aren't lucky with getting a lot of coal, you can just make a bunch of charcoal from smelting wood down. Only wood logs, you can't do it to planks, but yeah. Well, that looks like it would go deep enough to find diamond level, but... 
We'll see what we can do. Let's see if we ride this water side of life, what happens. Hmm, this will be a good stop, I think. If I need more torches. Many more torches. Perfect, a whole stack. A stack is the nickname for 64. Now we'll see if we can find some good gear. Cave mining can often be like hit and miss. Ooh, yes, iron. Now, it's a good idea to save up 24 pieces of iron so you can build yourself a full set of armor and then one piece of armor for a shield. Shields are really good. And always, when you're close to an edge, always press shift to make sure you don't fall off it. Like, if I come to this edge and hold shift, I won't fall off. But if I release it and go further, I can fall off. We can see I've got this water here to help make sure I have a fail safe. So. Always use all the resources you can for, for what you need it to do. And Minecraft's a lot different now in 1.18. These caves are so much more spectacular than they used to be. And there's lava. Oh! I'll be able to get back up there. Gotta be careful with the mobs. Mobs can be anywhere. Mobs are what we call mobile. That means like entities that move. And the hostile mobs are the deadly ones, like creepers and zombies and skeletons. Then there are neutral ones, which aren't that, de which can be really deadly, but will only like attack if you infuriate them some way, like Enderman. Okay, I found lapis lazuli. Now lapis lazuli is an important block to get some of for later on in the game. It helps you get much better weapons. So I'll show you what that does later on, but. Most of you watch my channel where I know about survival, but I was hoping this would help me get some more audience, like redoing my survival series. Well, it's in the same world, just in a different location. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything? How much I'm 14? I need 10 more before I can get armor, and I need one more if I want to get a shield. Okay, that was a risky jump. It looks like I found an amethyst geode. Those things are musical if you go inside of them, which I'll show you what that means. If I go up in here, you can hear it chimes quite a bit. And when you walk on it, it plays music. Okay, there's nothing really to note here. Fooey, I was hoping that would lead to more iron. Maybe that area would lead to more iron. Most every area should lead to some more iron. As much iron as I can get. Okay, this can be deadly. Sometimes mobs will push you off the edge of things like this. So you... Like that! Okay, run, run, run. Get away from that. Oh, okay. Let's just head back to the surface. Yeah, hold shift when swimming to go faster. And... Oh no. That skeleton could come after me. Okay, I should be safe now. Now we can head back and regroup. Okay, I've just got some iron smelting, so hopefully I can get a shield and some basic armor, and that will help me with, the, like, taking on more harder mobs like skeletons. Zombies aren't too hard, skeletons are reasonably hard, and creepers, well, you can worry about them, the kamikazes of the game. Okay, my inventory is getting a little bit packed up, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a couple of chests. Now, chests are made by surrounding like this. You can always just access the crafting recipes from this bar. Because 1.11, as bad an update it was, it or was that 1.12? Well, it, it added that and that really helped. Because before then, you had to like remember most every crafting recipe off by heart. Probably should, should plant this sugar cane. I need to build a bridge over there. So I guess I would need to head over here, or I could just plant out this pond. Sugar cane needs to be placed right next to a water source. And it's a really good block to have a good amount of in the beginning of the game. So later on in the game, you can get much better gear. So, um, let's see. The iron is nearly done. And I'm going to make me a shield. A shield is a really good item to use. Like, it allows you to block things like arrows, creepers, explosions, and zombies attacks. And then with um, this, I can build me a chest plate and a helmet. That should be some good beginning armor and make it a bit easier to mine. So that's only half the armor you need. You can have leggings and boots. And then an iron axe will be a good thing. 
And while I'm at it, I'll just organize my inventory for the best way to use it currently. So this should be good. A really organized inventory that allows you to use one, two, three, and four, or for sometimes five, to get to like the valuable items, makes it a lot easier for combat and new scenarios. Cowabunga! Okay, let's see. What else would be worth exploring? I think I saw some stuff worth exploring over yonder this way. Because I did see some zombies over here. Okay, this might be a better area to explore. Like, keeping torches on, then once I see them, I'll... Okay, it's you time. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is hard of Yeah, you gotta be good with the timing. Okay, hit. One hit, one hit. Yeah, timing is a key to good PvP. Okay, there we go, and I need to light this area up. Before anything... Oh, looks like we've hit the iron jackpot. Hopefully, after this, I'll have plenty of armor. If I can get that zombie. And I, I don't like axes that much with short-term stuff. I'm, I don't care what Mr. Green goes to says, I think I'll always use a sword, except for with creepers. The axe is better. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, I prefer a sword. But I guess it's better creepers. Now here's a phenomenon that sometimes happens. You find gravel, which gravel is a block affected by gravity. That means that, like, it will fall. But sometimes you find it floating like this, and you can trigger it by doing something like this. And it will fall. And yeah. So you gotta be a little bit aware that gravel can just fall spontaneously if you update it. Okay, hopefully I can get just enough to finish my set of armor and get a sword, which is one of the better combat blocks. Ooh, some gold. Now, gold is not the most useful block, and that's putting it mildly. It's... Although, there are some uses that's really good for gold, like, powered rare is one of them. Usually, your best bet to get gold is to just build a zombified piglin farm, which I'll build in a later video. And... Yeah. So, iron is generally the best, cold and iron are usually the best block skill of early game. And also, you gotta be careful the number one rule of Minecraft. Don't dig straight down. And ever since 1.18 came out, it's got an even, like, more of an important rule. rule more of an important rule. Because if you dig down, you never know if it's gonna open up into a pit of lava or a cave or something. Yeah, hopefully that's a good amount of gear and I can head back. And it's night time, so this might be tricky. Okay, now night time is tricky because this is when all the mobs will spawn. And as you can see, there's already a bunch around. In fact, maybe it'd be safe for me to stay in my mind, but hopefully I can get back in time to sleep. Probably not because there are already monsters in the area. Yep. So I guess now is a good time. To I'd have to smelt my own. Well, at least I can build a furnace here. So I'll build a couple and I'll show you how to get some of the most overpowered furnaces in the game. Now, to do that, I'll need to smelt about 16 cobbles of stone. I may as well smelt my iron. So this will allow me to get a better type of furnace called a blast furnace, which will industrialize your iron usage. Oh, I can sleep. Ah, morning. And all the undead mobs, such as zombies and skeletons, disintegrate and burn up. But beware, creepers don't. So, often when it's daytime, you've got to beware of wandering creepers, because remember, they are bombs. Okay, now that I've got a good amount of stone, I need to smelt it again to get some smooth stone, because you need smooth stone to be able to build one of those. And let's see, is all my iron done? Yeah, that's a decent amount. That's sh not quite enough to build boots, but... That will change now. So, yeah, now I've got just all the armor I need. The leggings, the boots, the chest plate, and the helmet. So now I'm fully geared up. And I may as well build a sword. And wait for that stuff to come through. A sword is a really good item to use. Because, like, now that I have a good amount of iron, I can upgrade all my gear from stone to iron. And my first thing I'll build is an iron sword. Because, like I said earlier, swords are really good for combat. Now I like an axe, which hits like a, which like hits like a truck, but has a longer cooldown. A sword is quite a bit quicker, so you can click it roughly this fast. 
so it's a lot quicker, but it doesn't take as much damage. Whereas an axe takes more damage, but takes longer to like cool down. And I can build me an iron axe now, which will, which if I remember right, an iron axe is actually quicker than a stone axe, so that will have a better stuff. So it will be a bit more powerful, but it is quicker. Still about twice the speed of a sword. I mean, like, twice as long. It takes twice as long as a sword does, so. Yeah, so, like, swords are quicker but take less damage, and axes take more damage but longer to reload. So, yeah, you gotta take that into consideration with combat. Okay, now I can build a blast furnace. So, I'll just take down this furnace since I'm not using it. And then, what I can do is. I can go Blast Furnace, which is 3 smooth stone and dying all along the top. Now this takes a lot quicker to smelt minerals, such as copper and iron down, so this will do it quite a bit quicker. And there's another type of furnace you can build, but it's for cooking, and that can be built by surrounding a furnace with 4 logs, and that makes a smoker. Okay, good, I need one of those immediately. Replant, there we go. And then what that does is if I build another furnace and then surround it with four logs, it makes a smoker. Now this is good for cooking meat and all other food related stuff, so yeah, that, uh, like, so furnace is more generic, but it takes longer, whereas blast furnaces can only do, like, minerals, but they take shorter, and smokers can only do food, food but they take shorter. Maybe we need another one, like a masonry furnace for stone stuff. That will probably be a cool item. Okay, now that I've got a decent amount of iron, I can now upgrade some of my gear. So, like, I can get a hoe, which is good for farming and also destroys leaf blocks better. A better shovel. Shovels are good for destroying dirt, sand, and gravel. And I need a new pickaxe anyway, so I may as well do that now. And there we go. I got some good iron gear. Now, now's a good time to think of building more permanent food sources. So what I think I want to do now is to build my first farm. And firstly, I'm going to need a bucket. A bucket is a item that allows you to transport water. So a bucket is made like that. And yeah, so what I need to do now is build me a good farm. Now to build a farm, you need to hoe a bunch of grass to get as many seeds as you possibly can. Then seeds can be used to make wheat, and then you can grow the wheat and make bread. Although my main reason for this would be to build an agricultural farm later on, because bread does not have the best saturation. Yeah, what I need to do is collect a pail of water, I mean a bucket, 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 I just use my southern lingo. And now you can build a 9x9 nine nine square. Four, four blocks out from each direction of the water, and this will make a good area to farm things. Now, this lot I've done outside of the square, but if you watch it, it's gonna like shrivel up and turn back into dirt. So you gotta have it close to a bucket of water, like a block of water, otherwise it will shrivel up. However, if you plant wheat there, it won't shrivel up, but the wheat will not grow as quickly, or well, at least that's what I think happens. So all you have to do is right click it like this, and then like fill up an area like this would be good. And I'll just keep doing this and I'll show you how to build a fence. Okay, I've got the farm complete. Now what we can do is like fence it off. So to build a fence, what you need, I'm gonna build oak fence since it's a good looking. What you need to do is have sticks in the middle with like wood surrounding it. And I need about 36 I think would do it. Maybe a little more than that, but yeah, I think one or two more lots would do it. And I'll need one gate. And that should be all the farming bits I need. So now I can just surround the whole farm with fins. I may have some excess, but oh well. So this should be a good starting wheat farm. Usually I like to build much bigger ones later, but just for the beginning of the game, it should be enough to get the wheat need to start a cattle farm later. Because cows, in my opinion, are the best food source because you need the leather for other things too. And also what I like to do 
is put some torches around the area so all the farmland can get a good amount of light. Because if you're up at night, it's a good idea to keep it lit so it gets more stuff. So, this is a very decent looking farm. And another block you can build using these is uh, a bit more than that. You need a composter and you can turn your excess seeds into bone meal, which bone meal is like compost. You can use it to like um, get more stuff like you can grow your stuff quicker. You can make bone meal out of bones too. So this is it, my farm. So I guess this will be the end of it. So yeah, this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this and you want to support my channel. And like I hope to see you guys in the next episode, which hopefully I'll be doing some diamond mining and stuff and maybe a bit of exploration. We don't know. We'll see what happens. This is being 867716. Goodbye.